You may ask yourself why there are so many glass cutters available in the market and all of them are so different. What glass cutter is better? Yes, indeed, there are many glass cutters. You can find glass cutters like a pencil or you may uh, find the glass cutters with this large handle which fits convenient to your uh, arm or you can find glass cutters of this shape or this shape so what is better what to prefer in addition if you look at glass cutters you may notice that glass cutter heads are different they could be narrow they could be uh, wide and in some cases they can uh, flip and rotate like in this glass cutter you see the head could be rotated so what's the difference um, let's start from the heads all the heads are different and what's more important they designed to make uh, scores on the different types of glass it could be thick glass it could be thin glass it could be artistic glass and depending on the type of glass you may need a different type of glass cutter head when we look at the width of glass cutters so width is narrow this head is narrow okay this glass cutter has a white head uh, this glass cutter may be narrow maybe something in the middle um, the answer why you see all these different heads is simple it depends what type of lines what type of breaks you want to make if you want to make uh, curved lines it's better to use narrow uh, heads glass cutters with narrow heads why it's because uh, you can uh, draw this line easily and this head will follow your line will follow your arm uh, from the other hand when you draw straight lines uh, it's better to use white heads because they are not rotating they can uh, follow the ruler and as a result the, uh, the line will be straight without any uh, even small curves let me demonstrate uh, cutting straight lines with different glass cutters um, I will start from this type of glass cutter with this narrow head which can rotate along the axis I use uh, for this demonstration I use the ruler from a Morton glass works system I took it just for uh, demonstration purposes no preference because this is one of the most popular systems available in the market so when I attach the head to this ruler um, actually and draw the score line I can slightly tilt it, uh, this glass cutter because I cannot keep it in the same position that's my hand the human's hand and when I make a line I can definitely move it slightly left or to the right and as a result when we look at this score line um, it's almost invisible 
right now but when we make this score line it's not perfectly straight if I break it along this score line you can see that this line is not perfect it's not perfectly straight I can attach it to the ruler and I can clearly see gaps in some places that is because um, this uh, head is not fixed it has too many directions in which it can move to the left to the right and even rotate now I can take the uh, glass cutter with a white head and now when I make the same score line I have less flexibility because this surface is wider and it uh, attached to the ruler more tightly so when I make it okay I have this score line I break it and I can see that it's almost perfect when I say almost it means that I can still find some much smaller but gaps uh, fortunately this cutting system has this add-on very simple add-on which you can use for making straight lines because this small add-on allows you to insert glass cut head here and it prevents it from being rotated it keeps it in the same position along the same score line it doesn't matter that your arm is moving slightly left or right it will be fixed within this uh, add-on so let me show I'm taking this glass cutter with a small head inserted here and I do the same new score line and what we see here it's almost perfect why almost because you can see that there is some degree of freedom still some degree of freedom uh, to avoid this freedom you need to use other glass cutting systems if you need uh, more fidelity in cutting if uh, this line is not enough is not straight enough for you you need to use uh, other glass cutting systems I'm removing this Morton system and um, I'm showing you this system if you can see I also use here a standard pen type glass cutter and a white head this glass cutter is designed for making straight lines but also it's attached to this rail it means that I cannot uh, make any rotations any moves with the glass cutter I can move it up and down that's it and it goes along this along this rail so if I put glass and make a score line now I have I can take this 
so what I put it here it's striped it's perfectly striped that is one of the reasons why we choose uh, glass cutters with the white head for making straight lines yes you still can use glass cutters with narrow head but the quality of the line will be lower it will be a bit curved now uh, let's speak about shape shape of handles of these glass cutters what is better um, I would start from this glass cutter this is a pen type shape and when you make a score um, you you handle it as a pen or a pencil so you push with your hand and with your fingers these fingers take the main pressure so when you draw a line using this glass cutter you have uh, tension in two places in these joints of your fingers plus in the wrist uh, if you have weak joints and if you have if you feel pain don't use this glass cutter it's not the ideal uh, another glass cutter is this one it's it looks convenient because you see this handle which fits your hand and so you can score line by keeping it in your hand now the only uh, joint which feels some tension is your wrist your fingers are not involved in this process so it's a bit more convenient Pers personally I preferred this glass cutter for making curved lines for cutting uh, various shapes like uh, flower petals or something else because what I like in this uh, glass cutter I take it like this I put it between my thumb and index finger and squeeze it between my fingers and when I make the score line I make pressure with my whole hand not with this joint not with my fingers with the whole hand so my hand is heavy enough so it's okay I still uh, I still need to use this uh, joint to make rotation but it's not uh, as painful as with this one uh, from the other hand uh, look at my fingers I use them for making rotations but not uh, applying pressure to my fingers so I I think that this is the most convenient from my point of view uh, glass cutter um, you may choose anything you want anything you feel convenient for you I just shared my opinion and now the last question uh, you see that all these glass cutters which I use here which I have here they have 
um, some volumes inside them to fill with glass oil, glass cutting oil. Uh, in many cases, you should use glass cutting oil. Uh, why? Let me explain this. Um, currently, I don't, uh, I didn't use glass cutting oil, but let me show you this surface. If you can see, um, the score lines are really visible. They're not uh, ideally thin, and there are many thin shards. That is the result of not using uh, oil. But uh, you probably noticed that when you see um, videos about glass cutting, uh, people usually use uh, this clear glass. There are two reasons for uh, using exactly clear, a clear glass. First. This is the cheapest glass. The second reason is that this glass is easier to cut. But there are many types of glass which uh, require more advanced skills for cutting them, cutting them without breakage. Uh, especially hand rolled glass uh, in many cases require um, may require you to cut, uh, to train first because it's not always possible to make a perfect cut of a new unknown glass. Another example of um, of the glass which requires special attention is glass which is used um, in the projects with tapestry or chevrons. Um, this is a small piece of a striped clay. And as you can see, uh, the base of this uh, glass is clear, but at the top there are uh, stripes uh, which were created by fusing of stringers, glass stringers, with this clear base. So this glass was already prefused. It was once uh, heated and cooled in the kiln. And now if you look here, you can see that the lines are even more visible. You see these triangles uh, on the surface. They are more visible because this glass requires special attention, special skills for cutting this glass. And if you do not use glass cutting oil, you have many, many thin and small, tiny, small shards. And you need to use protective gloves to uh, keep your hands safe. But if you use glass cutting oil, you will see no lines here at all. They will be barely visible. So I recommend you uh, using a glass cutting oil when you cut uh, striped or prefused glass. Now, last but not least, cutting of thick glass. When I say thick, I mean glass thicker than quarter of inch, half of inch, three eighths of inch and more. Uh, the problem is that not every glass cutter is designed for cutting thick glass. It may score, but this score will be ineffective with this 
the glass. Uh, if you need to uh, cut the glass, find a special glass cutter or a glass cutting head and replace it with your glass cutter. What is the difference? Uh, in some cases, you may find glass cutting heads uh, with the, which are marked with uh, thickness, which, I, which they designed for. It could be specified half of an inch, one inch, or something else. Uh, but if there are no uh, any marking marks, uh, simply ask the manufacturer uh, what thickness their heads are designed for. What's the difference between all these heads? All of them they look alike, absolutely alike. You will find almost no difference looking at them. But the difference is here in this small wheel. This wheel is not the same in these glass cutters because uh, we all know that this wheel has an angle which rolls along the along glass and this angle varies. For normal glass it's smaller, for thicker glass it's wider and more thick glass you need to cut the wider angle you need to use. But don't try to use the same head for cutting any uh, glass of any thickness because if you take a glass cutter designed for thick glass you may simply break a uh, thinner glass while scoring. Uh, at the end I'd like to summarize everything I just told you. First of all think about your health. Never buy a glass cutter which may cause uh, some pain uh, in your fingers, in your wrist, in your hand. Uh, I explained you uh, what type of glass cutter causes stress in different parts of your arm. So if you know about some weakness within your arm, uh, choose an appropriate glass cutter. Second, uh, if you work with a hand roll glass or if you work uh, with the projects with tapestry and uh, chevrons, then prefer, uh, I would prefer uh, glass cutters which allow adding glass cutting oil. This is the second decision you need to uh, take while choosing the glass cutter. And the last, think about what lines you need to make, how you want to break your glass. If you want to make straight lines, if you want to cut large sheets from an even larger sheet of glass, use glass cutters with the white glass cutting head. It will be easier for you uh, to make perfect straight lines. If you mostly work with small elements and uh, the shapes are curved, not linear, uh, not rectangles or squares, but some kind of ellipses or uh, other irregular shapes, then use glass cutters with small uh, with these narrow uh, heads and you will succeed with this. So that's it. Hope uh, it was helpful for you and thank you. <laughs>